Hello everybody, we are in the Pack and Ship Center of Field Notes and uh, recently we released our 17th limited edition, the Expedition Edition, and we also released let me grab this, Brian, this collector's box which allows you to archive your various editions that you own and we discovered that there's a, well, we've known this all along, but recently we've discovered there's a lot of people who are collecting all of the various colors of Field Notes. Um, and today we're going to concentrate on the uh, limited seasonal editions we've done uh, starting uh, in 2007 and... Uh, 2009 was, the, was our first one. 2009, right. that's right. 2007 was the first field notes. Um, 2009, and we're going to walk through the various editions and talk about them. Uh, color subscriptions are currently available uh, at the field notes site and they start with the expedition edition. And if you get that, uh, that's winter, so you would get spring and summer and fall as well. Uh, I'm Jim Kudall from Field Notes. This is Brian Bedell from Field Notes. Um, as is painfully obvious already, I think we don't have any script for this, so we thought we'd just sort of walk through the various uh, editions and talk a little bit about, about how it all started. So, uh, started, meaning... So yeah, this was the... Uh, <clears throat> was this Aaron's first book? Um, these were sent to us, what, in 2006, late 2006, Aaron sent these to a lot of friends as Christmas gifts. And Aaron made them by hand, actually. Yeah, you can see, uh, they say number blank of blank on the cover, they were the only ones that said that, and the paper inside was a little darker grid, and it said field notes at the top of each page. So that um, is inside cover is a little different, they don't have a date on them, so those are the very first edition of field notes ever, Aaron just made a batch of those and sent them out to friends for Christmas. Right, and we were lucky to be his friend, and we got one, and from there, uh, without going into the whole story, uh, we partnered with Aaron and we started Field Notes brand, and... This was uh, our first edition with a smaller logo. Right, those were printed in yeah. Portland. Yeah, similar to insides to the current ones, pretty similar to what we have now, although yeah. now the logo is bigger. Belly band's a little more detailed, but... A slightly different rounding in the yeah, corner as three, well. Yeah, three-eighths inch corners. So the craft is sort of the basic, genuine model, and we have them in uh, graph paper and rules and in plain paper. But then in 2009... Early 2009, yep. Aaron had always wanted to make an orange one, and uh, the paper we use for field notes, for a lot of the field notes, is from the French paper company in Niles, Michigan. And this is called Butcher Orange is the paper. So we decided, without too much forethought, that we would make an orange edition in a limited quantity and offer them for sale and see if people wanted to buy them. And while we were doing it, being as smart as we thought we were, we also did uh, Butcher Blue, which is a related family. Right? Right. Yeah, paper. same paper. Same thing. paper. So we printed, I don't know, 500 three packs? 500 three packs of each at of the same time one. together at the same on the same time. Room. And we offered the orange up for sale and didn't offer the blue quite yet. Right. We figured we'd see what happened with the orange and then maybe we'd offer the blue. Well, the orange sold pretty well. And so in the meantime... Pretty much instantly. Yeah, they were pretty gone. much yeah. sold out right away. And so we thought... I don't exactly know how it happened, but we thought maybe it would be cool to do a new edition every quarter, every season, and allow people to subscribe to, for a year. So you could buy for one price. At that time, it was $129 for a yearly subscription. Now it's $97, um, basically because we're doing more so we can do them cheaper. Um, you could sign up for a year, and you would get the current edition plus the next three editions. And we were very proud of ourselves for that idea um, didn't have any idea if anyone would buy them, and of course, people, they, yeah, people they, did. And, <coughs> people um, did, and we yeah. forgot to count the subscriptions in our quant in our quantity right. for ordering. So, so we, we ran out of these even faster. They were just about impossible to get outside of a subscription. Right, and somehow we had a few of the orange left. But this, I would say, for the collectors, it, of the seasonal color editions. Without a doubt, this is the rarest one, because we basically had them all committed to our subscribers due to a uh, before we even put them on sale. Before we even put them on sale, we didn't have the. A we don't have this is a th this is a three pack stuffed with another different edition inside. We don't even have a whole three pack of these things here. I do. The, <laughs> I do believe, however, in Portland, Aaron has. Yeah, Aaron two might three have some. Packs yeah. Of this. If you have one of these in shrink wrap, then yeah, don't you've got the mother lid. That's the oldest one. So, this was turned out to be. Uh, fall of 2009, 
This was, this was uh, fall, winter, whatever. Yeah, and then this was spring 2009, so this was summer 2009. All right, so now, now we're on this idea that we're going to make a different one every quarter. And at first, we just did it by different colors. We made them orange and blue, but then we like to mess around with different printing techniques. Right. And this is... Uh, this is grass stain green, the third edition. So this is summer? No. Yeah, no, this summer. was summer 2009. Nine, right. Um, it was printed on a, on a letterpress printer uh, in by our friend uh, Dan out in not even the suburbs, way out in rural Illinois. Prints these for us. Freeport. Um, Freeport, Illinois. He yeah. does the uh, you know it's it's a uh, really heavy impression, so you can see the texture of the uh, the impression with some varnish in there to make it a little darker. And then this was actually the first edition with a different color graph that had a green graph in it. It was also the first one with a name. Yep. Because remember, we've, we've yeah, we just named, named those after the paper, after right? the paper color. Yeah. But then, I don't know. We had the idea of maybe a white T-shirt after rolling around in the grass. That color sort of mix that color. Because so we're sort of making it up as we go along. But summer 2009 was grass stained green, and it sold out right away. And we sold a bunch of subscriptions. Mm -hmm. uh, after that is our first edition that is made up of more than one color. Again, we're still using French paper. Um, I believe Aaron selected these colors. Yep. And we called it uh, Mackinac Autumn, um, mostly because it was sort of poetic, but also Aaron's family is in northern Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, Back to the regular uh, tan inside graph. Right, the three lovely colors that work together. Mm -hmm. and that was good. So that one sold out. We gradually, as we go, the uh, quantities that are available for the quarterly subscriptions have increased. Um, they're all sold out with a couple of small exceptions that we'll talk about when we get to them. So now we go to winter of 2010. One of my favorites, actually. Yeah, this I like this is one a lot. This is the edition called Just Below oh, Zero. They have notes on them, sorry. But. And Brian's <laughs> written all over. Um, yeah, just, it was just Below Zero. It's the first time we used metallic ink. And uh, I just love the on way the that the outside. metallic silver ink looks on the dark brown. I think that's sweet. And also the metallic ink is on the inside for this se section and the practical applications as well. Although the medium gray actually had a dark gray inside because the metallic ink didn't show up. Oh yeah, I forgot Yeah, that. we yeah. <laughs> learn a lot of things as we go here. Right. That so was a little we said panic different attack there. color, different printing process. Three colors, so we liked the way that worked. It sold very well, so we did it again, but we added the silver ink. Three colors ink. with silver ink. So um, sometimes we get, uh, not sometimes, all the time we get mail about, can you get me a, a three pack of the Butcher Blue or of the um, Just Below Zero or whatever? And the answer is, well, we don't really have very many of them. No. Nope. So we have noticed, <laughs> though, that there is some trading going on. Uh, either via the Field Notes Facebook page or on Twitter. And we've actually seen some of these on eBay as well. So, um, sort of interesting. I don't think we, just like we didn't know that the subscriptions would work, we also didn't really think that people would be completists. Um, the first one I remember wrote to Michelle. Uh, he was Mario from Siena, Italy, was looking for a special edition we did for Levi's. And, and that was the first time I became aware that people were trying to collect all of the various editions. So there are some other editions that aren't seasonal. There are more editions than anyone will ever know. Yes. <laughs> and we'll go into some of those. Some of those were custom for various com companies and partnerships. Right. Yeah. Um, anyhow, so. That was our first right. sort of full year. And then, yeah, that was our first video after we did these. We did the Dumb Diddy Da video. Which, With uh, Helen King, which is a great track, and it was sort, sort of stop of motion. Stop motion animation video. Yeah. That was so after that, yeah, we started doing a video each time. Or almost every Almost, time, not right. this next one, of course.